Here we go, here we go. Coming back at you from the Red Eye Love YouTube world. How's everything out there? I hope that everyone watching my video today accepts this deep concern message for everyone out there watching my videos. I hope that everyone's doing well. I hope none of my, I hope that no one in your family and all the pigeon uh, flyers out there, all the feather friends out there, do not get ill from the coronavirus. As you know, it's all over the world. We can't avoid it. We just have to adjust our lifestyle a little bit. And if they come up with a cure or a vaccine, that'll be great. However, today at the Red Eye Loft, what you're looking at behind me are some of my young. They're growing pretty big from the last time you saw them in the uh, nest boxes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so you can see. Now let's talk about two things. First of all, you've heard it all around the world, wearing a mask. Well, what can I say? It's, it, it is what it is. We have to wear the mask. If you want to protect yourself, you want to protect your family and others, wear the mask. Wash your hands, disinfect your hands, disinfect your shoes when you, before you come home. All those things that are necessary in order to prevent your family and yourself from getting the coronavirus. I definitely don't want it. I don't want none of my neighbors, my friends, or anyone that I know close dear to my heart to get it. Um, it is deadly. You've heard all the sad stories, but I'm sure there are good stories out there of survivors. So wearing a mask shouldn't be new to the pigeon community because we all wear one when we clean our lofts. We should be used to it by now. I hope it doesn't come to that wearing a mask everywhere we go in public like in China. However, if it comes to that and we have to survive, we'll, we will adjust. The other part I wanna talk about is social distancing. Now in the pigeon community, because we already social distance already as it is with communicating with other flyers across the, the world, across the states, through YouTube and through Facebook and posting our pigeon videos, we already do that. So we're kind of fortunate that we can do that already. Social distancing um, through the pigeon uh, world, it's easy for us. It comes naturally. We do that already. The other thing I want to talk about is having this great hobby of handling pigeons. Now, for all those out there that have to stay home and self-quarantine and find something to do, you could only read so many books, you could only watch so many videos, and you could only tolerate your spouse or your family so much. And what can I say? Deal with it. But all I know is that we, the pigeon handlers, the pigeon flyers, we have it made. We can do this. Back of this yard, I'm in my own world. I can be out here for hours and not even um, mind because this right here, pigeons are what keep us going. And for guys like us that love to see pigeons like this, look at these colors that I'm breeding this year. Very, very nice. I like that. I got a couple of them like that. You put it out here in the sun, a little closer so you can see. Check it out, folks. Check that out. How nice is that? All right. Beautiful colors. These are my young 2020 for this year. And I have quite a few of them. Look at these colors. Look at this guy. Another one. These are not nest mates. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Look at that. So, today's video, we're gonna talk about, we talked about already about the coronavirus. We're past that. Hang in there, folks. We'll get through this. Be safe out there. Second part we're gonna talk about is my 2020 young ones. Most of these I may keep, I may sell a few. I have a couple more that I may sell, but I think I'm only going one round for this year. I'm only going one round. It's too hectic out here. I can't do it anymore uh, this year. Feeding twice a day, um, going out and getting a massive amount to feed to keep these birds healthy and full. Uh, the upkeep, the work, cleaning of the loft. This year's a little overwhelming for me. With all that's going on right now, 
and stuff that I'm doing inside my house, remodeling. It, it, I, I've been really, really busy. But we're gonna talk about my 2020 flyers right here. You got some grizzles. You can see. Got some grizzles. Got some white sides. You got some one red model there and second red model. And then I got three coppers. And then I have two more in the back coming up from a different pair. A couple more right here. Got my blue bars right there and a blue blue bar, like a blue checker blue bar. Right there. A couple blacks. One done. Black. And I have a couple more blacks coming up. And I have a couple more in the back over here. But I'm gonna keep it keep it to a minimum this year. Might as well heck. Might as well that's my my 2019 out for a flight real quick. I'll be right back, folks. Nah, the heck with that. You can walk with me. We're gonna walk over to the, to the uh, flying side. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, coming back at you from the Red Eye Law. Yeah, come on guys, come on, look alive out there. Here we go, here we go. We'll let these guys out for a little bit. Enjoy that. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Let those guys out for a little flight. They haven't been out in months. All right, back to the pigeons. 2020 team right here. All right. So folks, I'm about to take this mask off on my home. So you get the message. Please protect yourselves. Stay safe. Until next time, thank you for watching like always. Coming back at you from the Red Eye Loft. Peace.